Have you ever wondered how rice goes from the farm to your plate? The process starts with washing the rice seeds with yellow mud. This helps the seeds retain moisture. The seeds are then soaked in warm water for a day. After that, the water is strained off into a cloth and the damp seeds are covered and placed in a warm area to germinate. This takes two to three days. Next, a pesticide was made beforehand using tobacco leaves, which are cut into small pieces and placed in a tank with water to soak for seven days. After seven days, the mixture is boiled, strained into a barrel and sealed with clay. It is left to ferment for 30 days. This will help to enhance the pesticide, which main ingredient is nicotine. The nursery is then prepared by burning sticks on the ground to sterilize the soil and provide nutrients for the seedlings. Sheet manure is worked into the soil and pond mud is spread across the seedling bed. The germinated rice seeds are sprinkled over the mud and gently worked in with a dry branch. Plant ash is sprinkled on top and the nursery is covered for protection. Paddy fields, which are flooded pieces of land, are prepared by plowing with cattle. When the seedlings are mature, the nursery cover is removed. The fermented tobacco pesticide is transferred to a pressure sprayer and the seedlings are sprayed. After spraying, the seedlings are harvested and bundled. The seedlings are then planted in the paddy fields. Once the rice is fully mature, it is harvested. The rice plants are put through an agitator to remove the paddy rice then spread out in the sun to harden the husk for removal. Next, the paddy rice is placed in a stone mill to crack open the husk and separate the rice. The rice and husks are transferred to a winnowing machine which separates the rice completely from the husk. Finally, the rice is cooked and enjoyed with your favourite protein, a true taste of the journey from the farm to your plate.